morning today we will see one lesson for grade 10 called uh, quadratic equation right so put the heading quadratic equation quadratic equation is there in the grade 10 book uh, chapter 15 one of the exam problem you can see in all level also big question 10 marks problem in grade 11 next year but now we see the grade 10 syllabus under this quadratic equation so you learn in past grades grade 9 8 so many types of equations one we called simple equation what is simple equation for example like this x plus 10 equal to say 15 x plus 10 equal 15 so x equal 5 that is called simple equation only one solution only one answer An example: If it's a three x equal twenty seven, then one x equal twenty seven over three. That is nine. The only one solution. It's called a simple equation or linear equation. And you learn another one called uh, simultaneous equations. For example, mm, a plus b equal ten, a minus b equal eighty. So you number this one, two. Any solve this in the past grade nine. I won't show this now. The main part today is lesson quadratic equation. Okay, we'll see what do you mean quadratic, right? This quad means a Latin word. Quad is a Latin word that is known as two. Quad is two. Two answers comes in quadratic equation. Usually the equations are like this: x square form x square equal thirty six, x square equal thirty six like that, or x square plus five. Or five x equal seven like this. These are quadratic equations. Only few things in the grade ten, the basic ideas of quadratic equations, and how to solve that such type of equations. Okay, uh, so I show something about the some more part of the quadratic. So I raise this now. <coughs> Okay. Well, uh, before going to the quadratic equation, see something mathematical solving ideas. You know, this uh, two multiple zero is zero. Two multiple zero is zero. Six multiple zero is zero. Or zero times one multiple two multiple three. Whatever it is, answer is zero. You multiple with zero. If any number in terms one is zero, the final answer is zero. So if therefore a multiple b is zero, a multiple b is zero. So what can you say about the a and b solutions? So here we call see like this two and zero zero. Or here zero into one two three answer is zero. Now yeah, in this case a multiple b is zero mean we said a is zero or oh, otherwise b is zero or oh, otherwise we call o oh, this or so that right this or oh, that zero. 
in mathematics zero multiple zero what the answer what the answer zero multiple zero that's not zero that's not zero but you won't use in up to level such a answers zero multiple zero we call indeterminate form one of the indeterminate form zero multiple zero therefore we won't use such answer so you can't take both zero here this is a zero o b zero this we frequent using in this quadratic equation okay Okay, so next write the heading quadratic equation right below general form general form so here I show what the general form of a quadratic equation that is like this a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 right every quadratic equations should be this pattern a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 should be a x square then what we call the quadratic vargaja samikarana x square quadratic equation some x square some x and this now and right below we are A comma B and C are constants. Are constants that mean there is never changed numbers. A, B, C are numbers, right? This is the general form we see in the problem. How to use it? The general pattern of a quadratic equation. And next, right below, as I mentioned earlier, if a multiple b equal to 0 right if 2 multiple equal to 0 then we said a equal 0 o o the other one b equal to 0 then we have two answers every quadratic equations has two solutions right a multiple b equal to zero then we call a is zero o b is zero so not only two any multiple comes zero each and everything becomes zero right okay so here in the grade 10 chapters lesson we have to solve by factorization method there's various method of solving this quadratic equation great time we have to solve using the factorization method because you learn in the grade 9 also here in 10 factorization problems so we can use easily to find out the solution of quadratic equation okay now we will show some so problem right try question number the problem is solved solved so the first question x square minus 9 equal 0 x square minus 9 equal 0 we will see how to solve this how to solve this quadratic this is a quadratic equation because x square then this come x square terms that's called quadratic equation okay now I said to solve by factorization method if there is no zero you learn how to factorize this you learn grade 9 maths a square minus b square form if I show once again that x square I write the 9 as 3 square equal 0 so what is factorization a square minus b square pattern without the square show x minus 3 one factor 
the other one x plus 3 the other factor equal to 0 okay now see as I mentioned here a multiple 0 means a 0 o b 0 right so I think like this this 2 equal to 0 x minus 3 x plus 3 equal to 0 Therefore, this is 0 or the other one is 0. That means x minus 3 equals 0 or other one x plus 3 equals 0. And then write the answer. x minus 3 0 means what is x? Take the minus 3 other side plus 3 or here x equal plus 3 other side minus 3 see it's the two answers so x square minus 9 equal to 0 has two solution one is x is 3 x equal minus 3 it's the way right we will see another equation the problem my second question Mm, x square minus 25 equal to 0 x square minus 25 equal to 0 so have the same idea using factorization this method so we factorize so you know this 25 is 5 square we have x square minus 5 square equal to 0 so factorize x minus 5 one factor the other one x plus 5 equal 0 so I've copy that previous part previous problem so this 2 equal to 0 then this is 0 or the other one is 0 So x minus 5 equal 0 O x plus 5 equal 0. So right, this is 0 or that one is 0. So what answer? x equal take the minus 5 that side plus 5 O x equal minus 5. The two solutions plus 5 and minus 5 okay so go down the simple you learn in grade 9 how to factorize a square minus b square on that form we can solve these quadratic equations okay we'll see another question i'll show here number three my third problem uh, y square minus uh, 144 equal to 0 y square minus 144 equal to 0 so it's factor you know 144 12 square now yeah, we can write again this is keep one step here y minus 12 y plus 12 equal to 0 So you know the answer, 2 bracket 0, therefore y minus 12 say 0, O y plus 12, 0. So write y equal plus 12, O y equal minus 12. So the two solution y equal plus 12, O y equal minus 12, right? My third question. Copy down this. Now you should have, you know how to solve such problem using factorization. Especially here that you learn grade nine maths a square minus b square form. That method, right? Okay. 